In this video we're going to continue looking at 2D shapes and we're going to look at drawing 2D shapes. So first of all we're going to talk about how we draw, draw shapes on squared paper. So if we've got squared paper it's full of squares like this but obviously they're all the same. And we're just going to assume that all these are one by one. And we're going to draw a set of rectangle with 3 centimeters by 2 centimeters. So I'm going to do that because each one of these is one centimetre, so for three centimetres I go along three, go for these and up two. So there's my rectangle. This thing here. Now, also, we can, we can draw 2D shapes using rulers, protractors and compasses. And I've got a few examples here. Now, before I start, I just want to let you know that you can't use any of these things really on the board. So, they're just going to be explained and my diagrams I'm going to draw are not going to be the scale at all. So the first one's to draw an equilateral triangle with sides of five centimeters. Right, so what you would do is first of all you'd get your ruler and you would draw measure five centimeters. And put that side like that. Then what you would do is because it's equilateral, you would get your protractor and measure sixty degrees long here. because you want to make this angle 60 with it's an equilateral triangle and then you want also want it to be 5 centimeters so you would do 5 centimeters as well from the, on that, along that angle after I've measured 60 degrees and just put a dot then you measure 5 centimeters and you put a dot up there as well where the five centimeters and then you can draw that in and you should end up with something like this and all these should be 60 so that's how you do it using your compasses and your protractors that's how you would draw it Next problem is to draw this with your compass and protractors. Now the way I would do it, I would start with the 8 centimetre one. So we've got 8 centimetres here. And then, what you would do is you would get your protract, you would get your ruler and do 6 centimetres along here. And get your ruler 4 centimetres for here because you don't really need your protractor for this one because anything because there's no angles. Now these both need to be 5 so you're going to measure 5 here and 5 here. Oops, make that a bit thicker just so you can see it. So that's going to be 5 and that's going to be 5. So for that one you're just using your ruler and measure on the minute and that's going to work fine for that one. Next one, I would probably start with the bottom for this one and measure the 5 centimeters with your ruler. Then what I would do is I would do this side. First of all you want to get your protractor and measure this angle to be 145 degrees. And then you mark that off because that's how you use a protractor. Which you should know. And then when you've done that you want to measure 
from that point because that's the 145 where you've just put your dot after using your protractor you want to measure 3 centimeters with your ruler so that will give you 3 centimeters okay and then you want to then you just want to measure 35 with your ruler you want to measure 35 degrees with your protractor again and you're going to get to some side and it doesn't say what it should be so you can basically just draw a line but also this one has to be 35 degrees as well so what you do there is you would get your protractor and measure 35 degrees and then you would just basically fill in this extra line here and there you have your angles in your diagram as well you could find what that is if you wanted to because it's a quadrilateral next one you could start with any side you want I'm just gonna start with this one just because you have to make a choice so I'm choosing that one you want it to be four centimeters so we'll just use a ruler for that first one next one want it to be 90 degrees so we'll measure 90 degrees and we we'll also want it to be three centimeters so what we'll do is we'll do an angle well, what we'll generally do is we'll put a dot somewhere on this line and then we'll draw in the line later when we've used the ruler because you need to put a mark after using your protractor to show you where the source is 90 degrees and next one I think I'll draw in is going to have to be probably this one because that's the same it's 3 degrees 3 um, centimetres long so you measure that with your ruler again and then you want a 90 degree angle to come down here so you measure that with your protractor and then you draw a line 4 centimetres long And of course you use your compasses a bit to help you because some compasses have actually got a ruler on them so that makes it easy, I don't have to use everything at once to draw them accurately but without using all these tools there's no way you could draw some of these shapes 100% accurately with all the information that they want and when you draw these, if you make any arcs using your compass, leave them on your exam paper because examiners like to generally see what you're working out is. So it's best not to rub them out.